Sergio Perez once again failed to provide an answer to his teammate Max Verstappen's supreme pace, which saw him secure his ninth consecutive race win. Perez, the only other driver to win a Grand Prix this season, has come under huge pressure since his form dipped with a queue of contenders who would love to inherit the best car on the grid. A rain shower hit Zandvoort on the opening lap of the race, and seventh starting Perez reacted fastest by pitting at the first opportunity to ditch soft Pirellis for intermediates. As the majority of the grid then stopped one tour later, the Mexican emerged with a 10.4 second advantage over George Russell as Verstappen fell to 14 seconds behind come the fourth lap. Max then started running up to 4 seconds faster than Perez, to bring the gap down to 4 seconds before the two-time champion pitted on lap 11 to gain the undercut and subsequently the lead. Perez reckons this significant pace differential was largely down to a need to save his intermediate tyres on a drying track, as Red Bull warned that more rain was on the way. Asked by Motorsport.com to explain the delta, Perez said, We were expecting rain, the team was telling me that there was more rain coming. The track was on the dry side, so if I were to push, I would just have destroyed completely the inter tyre. Had rain arrived as anticipated, Perez reckoned he could have held on to first place for longer. He later spun out of second when heavy rain hit in the closing stages, costing him second to Fernando Alonso. After a five-second penalty for pit lane speeding, thought to have been incurred when he came in to switch to full wet tyres moments before the red flags were waved, Perez dropped from third at the flag to fourth behind Alpine racer Pierre Gasly. Perez continued, the Inters were super, super quick, so well done for the team on that early pit stop. Unfortunately, we didn't get right that there was more rain coming on the Inter, otherwise we could have pushed more on that first stint. Probably keep the lead for longer. It was chaos at the race start, just changing a lot and, unfortunately, our great call in the beginning turned out to be not so great in the end. It's a shame that we end up losing the podium because I feel like we really deserve it today. Perez responded to Verstappen's undercut by ditching his intermediates and stopping on lap 12. He returned to the track 3.5 seconds behind Max. Reviewing losing track position due to the split strategy, Perez said, I think that in those scenarios the team just have more information than we do at the time. So, it's something we obviously will review during the meeting, and I'm sure there's a reason behind it. Perez enjoyed a strong start to the season, winning two of the first four Grand Prix. However, he has struggled to keep up with Max since getting caught by him in Miami, despite the Dutchman starting ninth on the grid with Perez in pole. Perez might have a contract for 2024, but if he does not do a good enough job then Red Bull could replace him. That tallies with the wider belief in the paddock that Perez is not absolutely fixed in that seat for next year, even though team boss Christian Horner has often backed his driver and used the 2024 contract as evidence for why speculation about his future is wide of the mark. Red Bull's history of replacing drivers it has under contract is well known and one driver, Nick De Vries, has already been on the wrong end of that this season. And despite what Christian Horner and Helmut Marko have always said, it has never seemed impossible Perez could suffer the same fate. Before his back-to-back -back podiums before the summer break, Perez had been on a difficult run that included five consecutive failures to make Q3 in qualifying. That was a painful contrast to Verstappen's form. And even those podiums came with caveats. Perez was beaten by a McLaren in Hungary, where he finished third after only qualifying ninth, then suffered a 22-second defeat to Verstappen in Belgium, despite leading more than a quarter of the race. With Marco's recent comments, it is easy to infer that Perez's situation is more precarious. The previously implicit threat of dropping him if he's not good enough for Red Bull certainly seems to be more explicit now. De Vries was given a clear warning from Marco that he needed to improve his form, with the Red Bull advisor indicating that he gave him the yellow card. That seemed to work, for a while, but then De Vries' struggles returned, and he was shown the door. Could the same thing be happening to Perez? Compounding the situation is something that Horner said in the midst of Perez's qualifying struggles earlier this season. They began at the Monaco Grand Prix, where entering that race it seemed that a small window had opened for Perez to turn the 2023 season into a legitimate title fight between himself and Verstappen. Then an error in Q1 ruined his weekend, and the slide began. With that slide allowing Verstappen to pull away in the Drivers' Championship, Horner identified a silver lining for Perez at the Spanish Grand Prix back in June. Marco had hinted Perez's place on the team could be in doubt ahead of the Dutch Grand Prix, stating that his future would be the subject of discussion in Zandvoort. Nothing is 100% certain in Formula 1, it just doesn't exist. There are always performance-related situations somewhere that need to be discussed. 
we'll take a look and discuss how to proceed in Zandvoort, then we'll know more. Then, speaking with Sky Sports Germany on Friday ahead of the Dutch Grand Prix, Marco went even further. Perez has to perform. He has to improve his qualifying, but everything is clear for the current year. We'll see what happens next year. These comments are a wild departure from Marco's thoughts on Perez just a few short weeks ago. When the Red Bull driver was in the middle of a qualifying slump both Marco and Horner gave the driver a clear vote of confidence. Marco believes Perez was lucky to finish the Dutch Grand Prix after his crashes at the end of the race. Perez hit the barriers at turn 1 after aquaplaning off into the barrier when the heavy rain hit with 9 laps to go, then he hit the barriers entering the pits the following lap causing damage to the front of his car. The team was seen making repairs during the late red flag to his car, including both the front and rear wings of his RB19. According to Marco, the damage was substantial enough to prevent Perez from continuing. He was still lucky with the pit stop because he crashed quite hard when entering the pit lane. On top of that, there was another penalty because he was late with the brakes. He was still lucky. Without the red flag later in the race he would not have reached the finish line. He remains second in the drivers' championship standings but is 138 points adrift of Verstappen, who has simply been in a league of his own so far this season. However, Marco was quick to insist that Perez's seat is safe, for now, after conceding that no driver on the grid would be able to match Verstappen on current form. He also urged Perez to avoid putting so much pressure on himself in order to get back to his best. We still have the confidence in him, as he has to finish in second place this season. However, he builds up the pressure entirely for himself. But yes, to be honest, everyone besides Max has a difficult life. Marco went on to shut down any chance of Alex Albon returning to Red Bull in place of Perez next season, with the Williams driver qualifying ahead of him at Zandvoort before securing an eighth-placed finish in the race. He was always ready to drive alongside Max. Alex has improved a lot, but I can't name a single driver who is at Max's level right now. According to Ralph Schumacher, Lando Norris is the ideal candidate to succeed Perez at Red Bull Racing. The Brit is not only fast, he is also very good friends with Max. The two-time world champion himself can well imagine driving in the same team as Norris at some point. The problem is that Norris is under contract with McLaren until the end of 2025. Norris and McLaren are part of that congested chasing pack alongside Mercedes, Ferrari and Aston Martin looking to eliminate the gap to Red Bull out front. Though Norris has regularly been linked with a switch to Red Bull, their advisor Helmut Marko recently saying he could see Norris as a teammate to Verstappen down the line. So, what do you think of Checo's falling form? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos.